Hey, hey, it's Mythic Mike back with another great standard deck. Today, we have made the best toolbox deck ever. Toolbox referring to when you can pick your own cards. Uh, this lets us fetch whatever card we want, including the top end, Sarah Paragon, which is nasty. And then we also have a prowess theme going with Monastery Mentor making a ton of monks because we have all these adventure creatures that have a sorcery on one side or an instant that will make more monks. And we even have one of our guy to play adventures twice. Again, in an aggro shell with evolving adaptive and query and beast caller and prairie lands just to smash in and buff the squad. It is a sick and powerful deck. And it's one of the most fun decks I've played recently because you get a lot of cool decision making. So going through the deck, Huntsman's Redemption is one of the key cards here. You create a 3-3, uh, then you may sacrifice a creature. If you do search your library for any creature, you can put it in your hand. You can play it that turn. You have not spent mana. Then up to two target creatures get plus two, plus two, and trample. So it's an aggro finisher too, which is sick. The reason why the deck looks a little messy is because then we want some one-offs to situa situationally find things with Huntsman. The key thing that we're also doing here is, like I said, uh, we do have three Monastery Mentor, and because we can find him with Huntsman, we have like seven ways of getting him. Uh, also, Huntsman is a prowess trigger uh, if we put the Monk out first, which is pretty sick. And then when we play a non-creature spell, this gets buffed, and it makes a 1-1 Monk with prowess, and you can just make a million of them. So it's very, very cool. And then what we can do is we can fetch things like Cheeky House Mouse, like I said, on one side it's just a little adventure to make another monk. Uh, this guy, you know, has a sorcery, makes a map to make another monk. When it attacks in, you get a creature on the top of your deck, as long as it's power three or less, which is everything. So we're just like busting them down. This card is one of my favorites. Check out my 90% um, win rate aggro, fast aggro deck where I use this. Um, the left side, target creature gets Vigilance and plus X, plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures. So it can be like a plus six, plus six in Vigilance. And then the right side, creature tokens get plus one, plus one. These are tokens, the things we make from this. Also, this makes a token to start. Those are the only tokens we have, but the left side's good enough. And it's just very nice that we can like grab these things as we need them. And then, I mean, what we're really going to grab though, let's be honest here. We we'd only have to put one Sarah Paragon in our deck, but we can grab it five times, right? Or four times here, and we might draw it. Uh, amazing, right? Because we sacrifice something small, then, and we already have a 3-3 three, three out, and then we get this. We can play whatever small thing we wanted from the graveyard again, and then keep playing things turn after turn. This is a 3-4 flying, and once during each of your turns, you may play a land from the graveyard or cast a permanent spell with mana value three or less. We can cast Redemption again, by the way. So this will die, and then we can cast it again with Sarah Paragon. Pretty sick. Like I said, this is just an, a really fun card. Um, you can mess up one of their adventures. You can exile their graveyard, which definitely comes up in mill strategies. And at the same time, if you've played half of an adventure, you can play the first half again. So like we've already played the left half and buffed something, and it's now we have to play the right half. This goes back to we can play both sides again, which is very nice. And then we just have like this is just a great one to grab, right? I mean, only when we need it, but you pay one up to three times and you can do any of these and all of them destroy target artifact or enchantment. There's a ton of those exile target players graveyard again, mess up those reanimator mill strategies or you gain four life. Life gain obviously is super nice. This also has life gain can buff the board. If we've got a lot of mana and uh, we'll at least probably have four mana, right? Because we play this, make a 3-3. Three, three. We uh, then discard something small usually or even the 3-3. Three, three. And then we'll get this. We'll probably have four mana. We can at least buff the squad once. Um, another fun thing to get with this is Extraction Specialist because then we it'll automatically bring back what we sacrificed as long as it wasn't the token. So if we sacrifice like the right side of this... We have a 3-3 three, three out, we find Extraction Specialist, we play it, bring it back. Bring this back, and it buffs our tokens again. So it's just very, very nice. There's so much to do. There is life gain on here and here. Uh, and like I said, this has a life gain element, so we can um, keep up with aggro strategies too. Also, I mean, we just have a low-to-the-ground aggro strategy to start, right? 
This gets counters as creatures enter the battlefield. This is when you cast creatures, it gets counters. I mean, this is a 2-1, this is a 2-3. Um, you know, we're, we're pretty low to the ground anyways. We do have four of the exile creatures, and we can uh, find them with this as well when we need them. So well, the coolest thing about this deck, guys, it's like, you know, we're, we're putting pressure on to kill them. But then it's like, what do we want to do? Do we need some life gain? Do we need to mess up their mill? Do we just need to get efficient and bring in an extraction specialist or a Sarah Paragon just to grind them? Uh, do we have to kill an artifact, right? It's it's uh, super nice. And then also, this is another super fun one to find. Uh, this one, you pay one uh, white and then you exile a card from a graveyard. If it was a permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So if there's a bunch of creatures in both sides, we can just like play this, buff it super big, uh, make sure they don't have any reanimation targets. Very, very nice. You can actually reconfigure it. So if you have enough mana, you can do that and then put it on a creature on the first turn to give it pseudo haste. Um, let's see. Last but not least, Haywire Might. Uh, I mean, this is just a sick card, but it's just a cheap way to exile a non-creature artifact or non-creature enchantment. So the blue spell Zarowaster's, you know, thing or audacity where it's, they say if the, when it goes into the graveyard, you get to do something. Audacity says draw a card. Um, the blue one says discover three. This exiles them. So you don't they don't actually even get the benefit. It's like the only thing that exiles artifact or enchantment, which is just sick. And then, like I said, the prairie. I mean, these Celestia, these, these is just the best colors for this because the land is our win con. You attack him with a 3-3, three, three, and all your creatures get plus one, plus one. And we will have, like, a wide board, right? And again, we might have a million of these little tokens we've made by doing prowess triggers. Uh, sick deck, guys. These are beautiful planes. I can't say enough about how fun this is. And we do smash people in the numbers at Mythic, so it feels very powerful as well. But let's get into the games, and let's get it done. All right, Iron. Let's go. All right, I like that. We will do this, and we will find a prowess trigger, I think. I guess this is mono red, so maybe we just leave it actually. Why am I getting so greedy? <laughs> I was like, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kill our 3-3. And uh Yeah, no. <laughs> I forgot a 3-3 is good. No, we're not doing that. Because it's over anyways. Six six vigilance. Oh my god, this card is always good, isn't it? And it's a prowess trigger. Masterpiece, guys. We've made a masterpiece again. Let's go. What's he doing? That's fun. We are doing that because watch. So we have a fun little thing, by the way. No. What are we doing here? <laughs> watch how cool this is. All right. We can do both, right? Choose one or more. 
We return this and we kill his graveyard. What? Then watch what this, so this is two or fewer. Then we go like this and we, that is one life. He's not dead yet, but he sure looks like he's about to be. That stays on Vigilance. Let's go, we've made a masterpiece. We only have uh, one of these, by the way. Oh, where is it? One of these, but we can fetch it, remember, with our four. Four Huntsmen, we get what we need. Yeah, you ain't getting past us there, baby. <laughs> Sorry, brother. All right, non-fiction, let's go. 1800. I didn't really look at my uh <laughs> God, I can't be texting while I'm playing. Oh, there we go. Well, that'll work. That will that will work. So we want this one because this is the... We don't care about the left side. Make a map. Who needs a map? Ooh, that's fun. Weird. I guess it is this. Oops. Into... Or actually into this. Boom! Guys, this deck feels nice. Wow, he got a lot of humans going, huh? Oh my god. Let's go. Why not, right? <laughs> Guys, those people that don't think Kellen is sick, if you make a low creature deck, Kellen is crazy. We just drew two cards. We can start exiling cards and growing this, by the way, which is insane. Not that we need to yet. Or maybe we ever will need to. I mean, you better have six Adelines in your hand. I'll tell you that. Oh my god. Should we do it to him? We should, shouldn't we? We should do it to him. Scribe or land, that's pretty sick too. This is instant speed, right? That's crazy that's instant speed. Oh, you are so cute. He thinks he's gonna outscale me with that.
We will we will take that opportunity to kill that, right? Uh, two or fewer again. Has Kellen served its purpose? Yeah, Kellen, we're crazy people over here. So it'll be a five, huh? So it won't quite be big enough. So I guess we do do it on this then. Oh, it would have been bigger, huh? Live and you learn. Maybe I... Yeah, I messed up, huh? One, two, three... It would have been six. Ah, maybe not. <laughs> this takes so much thinking to figure out what I'm doing, though. Right? So it's this... into this. Uh, we got a better boar than this guy, right? Than this guy. Is he gonna have a way to give his stuff flying? No, he's only playing white or trample. No. we attack all, what happens? Nothing. Alright. Maybe attacking all would have been better? We'll see. Giving up Adeline. I mean, he would have to had to block with more, right? So these are caverns, so that would be pretty funny if he did have, like, a... Uh, Soldier, soldier, it wouldn't work. We're champions, guys. Two or more. <laughs> Their way out. Is there a way out or we made another masterpiece, guys? We know we both know the answer. I should have put it on a trumpet. He'll just block all anyways, right?
Ooh, that was a fun one. This is a fun one. Okay, I mean, that's nice, right? It's a nice one. And he can play that. The problem is, I mean, we've got our Sarah Paragon. <laughs> we've got our Sarah Paragon. Is there any way to actually win? Do we have a exile spell? So you can't play the left side when you're doing that. I'll take that. <laughs> Talk about legs, baby. Do you remember when uh, he killed our whole board a turn ago? Let's go, baby. Straight climbing. All right, Curloid. 1652. Let's go. Two or more. All right. Do we have two turn one plays? We do. They're just not very good. We are going to start with that then. Oof. Now I regret it. We have mono black again? So this is the most I've seen mono black. Amount of stuff this will get buffed to. Let's go. So we do have, I mean, we have a lot of good things. One land, and we can make, we can do the monastery thing. That's not good. You can't even protect it, sir. care about that thing <laughs> let's go baby let's go
think you're dead, right? Is he gonna kick Sis for the win? Let's see. Is there any way? So he has to block this. Then two goes, right? He said, I'm done with this game. I don't blame you, sir. Good game. Bad ferret, 934. Let's go. I mean, it is nice you get a turn one play off this card, even though it's not amazing. I mean, it is a prowess trigger for a prowess boy. Could do it again, but we're not going to, right? We want to get the ball rolling. We played this deck already on this video, and we smashed them, so... Uh... Let's hope it works the same. We smash them in part. Uh, take action. I was going to say by drawing a million cards. Draw. Oh, that's legendary. I forgot that was legendary. <laughs> oh my god, I did it again, guys. I did it again. Phew. Phew. We didn't get punished because we wouldn't have had another we could have had another counter on that if I did it right, but turns out not. Attacking through, sir. Come on, dice. Good. We'll take that. There we go, baby. I mean, that's a nice little combo, right? That you get a pick <laughs> if they give us that. And I guess we made it ourselves. Um... I mean... I did it again. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I keep thinking this is not legendary. Oh. I'm recording. Alright, let's see. What do we do here? I mean, this is pretty nice, actually. Or we should have done it the other way, huh? Guys, this is just... Oh, no, it'll work. It'll work. Because the three toughness still... Phew. Alright, this will get plus one, plus one when we do it that way, right? Oh, we can exile... We could have exiled their graveyard. Whoa.
acá we are kind of letting them get that back but I think this is too good to pass up I'm sure they could have double spelled regardless right Is he going to get another one? Good, good, good. So, actually, this is a little weird. Is he attacking? What's he doing again? It makes sense, because we can't get it back, right? Actually, that's a little worrisome, huh? So our land plus plus two plus two will be pretty nice. We can't... Thank God we didn't go for that, right? Mess up the legendary again. <laughs> Guys, sometimes it's just something doesn't get through. When I played my Dinos deck, it was the finality counter. And in this game, or this deck, it's that this is this just doesn't feel legendary to me. I mean, I like the card, but how is it legendary? Ward, Ward 1. Whoa, 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 sir. Don't get ahead of yourself. I am regretting. Get a Kellen swing in, baby. We die. <laughs> we will do Kellen, though. Yeah, we're not close enough to do it. Are we going to have to give up these guys? I hope not. If he swings in. Ooh, that's a solid one. Are any of these enchantments or artifacts? No, right?
Is there a better way to do this? Could kill Thalia, but who cares about Thalia, right? Alright. Yeah, we might have lost this one, huh? Okay. I'm glad I didn't do Thalia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's see. So the biggest ones I can block, six, four, four. Six, four, four, three. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that what's up? Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it right on the money? Because I can't. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. Or else I would just do nothing so I could double spell, right? So one, one two. Three, four. Oh wait, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You know what? Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Let's see. My math has been bad before, but uh, we'll see. That also didn't get plus interesting. Although I will have to block. They will get du Is that what kills me? Although that's a gnome. Don't do all of them. Oh, what's nice, we have first strike, so we can kill the copper first. I think we're going to win this, guys, are we? big one. Ugh. That's still eight. One. That's still eight, huh? So our land has to die. Did I lose?
No, I forgot about the ward. <laughs> oh my god. So uh, if I had it, um, ward two, I would have had to double spell with these two, and then I could have paid the ward. All right, good game. I blame myself for that one, but uh, almost. All right, the gent. Thirteen ninety one in the mythic ladder, and he's going for it apparently. I mean, one, two, three, three. That's how I like to play it. Ooh, the same colors. Okay. The same colors. We know what he's doing though. Look at this, by the way. Kill target artifact or enchantment, exile spell, and a way to fetch whatever we need. We've made a masterpiece, guys. Let's go. I'm flexing before, before the game's even started. I'm so confident. Let's go. So what are we going to find? So he'll get a copy of the audacity, which is nice, but... Oh, so he gets to copy that. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what? We're just going to kill him, aren't we? So it's a little greedy that I didn't hold this up, but... <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty good. My dog's going crazy out there. Four is going to go through one. We're good, right? That's how we play.
All right, this is actually a very interesting question, right? Do we gain four life and kill an artifact? Interesting. It doesn't mean he has one. If you can't tell, guys, we play risky over here. <laughs> that did have trample. Kiss, we're terrible people over here. Kiss. All right. Now what? That was a token. You can't even get it back. Now what? Which one? Probably this one, right? We're crazy people, baby. Some back and forth though, right? I guess he could get a Mashiku's and a Trample spell and be in a good place. Ooh, life gain, huh? Good, that's good. The life gain's good, and I guess you can, I mean, it's interesting, huh? He can use Skrelves to get by. I'd have to block with Werefox. We do have two colored creatures. Oh, baby. Extraction, huh? Oh, baby. Yeah, we've made a masterpiece, guys. Don't even lie. Don't even lie right now. Koa, 
1645. This looks mighty nice. We will play out our cheeky mouse. You know, there's an argument to save it, but we don't do that. Like, I could have played that, I guess, in... Nah. All right. So what is this madness? That is a removal spell. I assume he can get back, or maybe he doesn't care about removal. <laughs> Even though I showed him it's a creature deck. Okay. So we do have a way to get rid of the graveyard, don't we? I mean, we will do this. We can get a prowess trigger off that if he doesn't do anything. We can kill something. I mean, maybe we just get another um, exile spell, right? We'll see. We will use it. We'll use it. Let's see what happens here. Do we kill his graveyard noting he's clearly a graveyard deck? I mean, even better, right? the four life I guess we'll take it or no we don't have enough mana for it we won't do it then I can't feel good, baby. We got more where that came from. I mean, we don't have it in our hand, but. <laughs> and that's why we play Huntsman. We just get what we need when we need it. There kind of was an argument to get the uh, other guy that lets us, because we can kill a graveyard and we can get this left side back. But um, I do think killing the Iron Craig was nice. Okay, okay. So he's got something. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Would have gone a long way. Just even one of them. Because see, now he doesn't have to block. Uh, Alright, we will get Restless Prairie. Guys, we've made a masterpiece that was sick. Alright, Z Weistein, let's go. I mean, looks beautiful to me. I guess we will get it down. Hey, he has a Restless too. Although we kind of showed him what we're doing. Maybe we should have saved it. Hey, we can kill that. <laughs> no, I'm not sure it makes sense right now. Oh, that's a fun one. Let's go. 
I guess if we had put this down, we could have made a map. But I think this is the way. Dinosaur. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, you know what the best part is? The best part is we get it back, baby. We're, we're too good. Although this is like totally a Sunfall deck, maybe. Although, why would you have this with Sunfall? I mean, maybe. We can't attack with that, though. That's a little annoying. We got Paragon to get everything back again, though. <laughs> Watch him kill. If he kills the thing that can't do anything, oh, I'm going to laugh. Oh, my God. You're out of control. <laughs> you are literally out of control. Dude, I love that that gives me... Oh my god, we were gonna hit a lot of lands, huh? So we will get this bad boy down, and oops, we attack first. Almost messed that up. We will kill this, because I don't want him drawing cards next turn. Let's go, baby. I'm just gonna say it. Our deck's better than your deck, man. I don't know what to tell you. Is there anything in here? Can he get that back? Is the question, I guess. Is this some weird reanimation deck? I don't know if I'm going to mess this up, though. Alright, alright, alright. We could get this back with Sarah Paragon. We could exile his stuff. We could attack in. We're going to attack in, right? Yeah, put him on a clock. Decision. So he's he's on a... I mean, he's dead next turn if he doesn't do anything. I'm sure he'll do something, though. Hmm. It's barely something. It is barely something. So I mean, we'll kind of just go wide with it, and then we'll win next turn, unless he has something, by using the creature land. And I mean, the nicest part is, we got a lot going. Like, this card can solo a game. No one plays this. Exile a card from a graveyard and put a plus one plus one counter on this for one. Pretty crazy. We can also reconfigure it. So, we this can have um, haste, as you're about to see, I think. Well, I'll probably just attack with the land, won't I? We're bringing Sarah Paragon back, baby. I mean, why not, right? I guess I could have played a land first, but, uh... We don't need to. Let's go. Are you dead, Z Weinstein? Sure, looks like it. So you got a land. You can do, or maybe a Wandering Emperor, but not both. Mm. Oh wow! So that's that's really what he's doing here. 
So we'll move that off. Sure looks like he's dead. <laughs> Good game, sir. You can't block the flyer and the other one, it's... Unless you have removal. Look, we've made a masterpiece. It is what it is. It is what it is. Check out one of these two videos. Remember, I make a deck a day and multiple budget decks a week. We are popping off with the most unique synergies. Remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Thanks, guys.